Hi everyone, Woohoo here from the Coin Dictionary, and today I've got for you a New Zealand halfpenny from 1962 to talk about. We'll go over the history, the value, the basics, and any other pertinent information about this coin uh, after I tell you that it was provided by Southern Metal, our friends at the Southern Metal YouTube channel. Make sure to go check them out after you watch this. Uh, well, let's start on the obverse for this coin. Uh, this is the Young Laureate Bust of Queen Elizabeth II by Mary Gillick. Uh, the text around, in comparison to British coins, it just says in plain English, Queen Elizabeth II. Well, just like that. Turn it over to the other side. This is a hay tiki, an ornamental Maori pendant with Maori ornamental scrolls on either side. Uh, around that, we see New Zealand half penny issuing entity and denomination, as well as the year of mintage down below, 1962. A rather simplistic design. Uh, these coins were produced at the Royal Mint of Tower Hill, which was in service until 1975 in London. They are bronze coins that weigh 5.6 grams each, 25.4 millimeters in diameter, 1.6 millimeters thick with a smooth edge, uh, pretty much following the same specifications as British half pennies of the time. Uh, they were produced, as I mentioned before, at the Royal Minton Tower Hill between 1953 and 1965, at least with this obverse. Uh, now, it has a mintage, this one anyway, of 2.88 million for circulation, making it uh, kind of a middle-of-the-road mintage figure as far as the date run overall is concerned. Uh, on eBay, these things relatively are, depending on condition, of course, they go for a, you know, a rather modest dollar or two on eBay, and that also reflects in the NGC World Price Guides as well. In uncirculated condition, a 1962 could get you anywhere between $3.50 and $10, uh, but in circulated condition, and certainly in the more brown grades, that is to say not retaining this luster that we see here, uh, this is probably the kind of thing you'll find in a local coin shop's foreign coin bin for about a quarter a pop. Anyway, hope that cleared up some information about this coin. I want to thank our friends at Southern Metal once again for providing the coin for today's video, and I'll see you next time right here on the Coin Dictionary when I've got another coin to talk about. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching the video. My name's Christian, and I own The Coin Dictionary, and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com, and on Instagram at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like CoinMeltPrice.com, which shows up-to-date precious metals pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own, CoinsMetalsCards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a new source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests, as well as whatsthegrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.